Okay, the objective of today's lesson are first to define the terms of empirical and molecular formula and second one is to determine the empirical and molecular formula. Empirical and molecular formula. The definition. Empirical formula is a chemical formula that shows the simplest whole number ratio of all elements in a molecule. While molecular formula is a formula that shows the actual number of atoms of each element in a molecule. The following is the relationship between empirical formula and molecular formula. The mass from empirical formula multiplied with n equal to mass in molecular formula. Okay, let us look at this example. Ascorbic acid, commercially known as vitamin C, which cures scurvy and may help prevent the common cold, it is decomposed of 40.92% of carbon, 4.58% hydrogen, and 54.5% oxygen by mass. The molar mass of ascorbic acid is given as 176 gram per mole and determine its empirical formula and molecular formula. So from this problem, we want to solve we want to find the empirical formula and molecular formula for vitamin C. Okay, let us look how the solution. First, we assume the mass of sample is 100 gram. Therefore, we will obtain the mass of element, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen as 40.92 gram, 4.58 gram, and 54.5 gram. After that, we calculate the number of mole for carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen uh, by dividing uh, the mass of each element with their molar mass. And we obtain the number of mole of carbon as 3.41, hydrogen 4.58 mole, and oxygen 3.4062 mole. Then we calculate the simplest ratio. And after we obtain the simplest ratio, we multiply with a uh, suitable factor so that we will get the whole number for each of the mole of each species. From the empirical formula and molar mass of the compound, we can determine the molecular formula. So by using the relationship between empirical formula and molecular formula, the mass from empirical formula multiplied with N equal to the mass from molecular formula. Then we can determine the value of N. And in here, in this case, the value of N equal to 2. Therefore, the Empirical, the molecular formula will be C6H8O6. Yes? There are many ways to measure the concentration of a solution. Before that, uh, what is the concentration of solution? The concentration of solution is the quantity of dissolved substance per unit quantity of solvent or solution. So as what I said, there are many ways to measure the concentration of a solution. Uh, first one, the molarity or molar concentration, molality, mole fraction, percentage by mass, and percentage by volume. What is a solution? A solution is a homogeneous mixture between a dissolved solute and a solvent. A solute, a solvent, 
the mixture between the solute and solvent will form a solution. So dissolved solute in a given amount of solvent will form a solution. So for a solution, it must consist of dissolved solute and a solvent. So there are five unit of concentration that we are going to learn. The first one is molarity. What is molarity? The definition of molarity is the number of mole of dissolved solute in one liter or decimeter cubic of a solution. So I mean the molarity is the amount of dissolved solute in every liter solution. The formula given is molarity equal to the number of mole of solute divided by volume of solution in liter or decimeter cubic. The unit for molarity normally is uh, we use mol per liter or mol per decimeter cubic or m. What is molality? Molality is the number of mole of dissolved solute in one kilogram solvent. That means how much the dissolved solute contain in every one kilogram solvent. The formula for molality is molality equal to mole of dissolved solute divided by mass of solvent in kilogram. The symbol for molality, normally we use a small letter M. And the unit of molality is mol per kilogram or molal, or we can simply write small letter M. Next is small fraction. What is small fraction? Mol fraction of a solute Xa is the ratio of number of mole of solute to the total number of moles in the solution. That means the formula will be mole fraction Xa equal to mole of solute A divided by the total of mole of component in the solution. In here, we look if we look at this formula, mole fraction Xa equal to mole of solute A divided by mole of solute A plus mole of solvent. The mole fraction of component A is given by mole fraction A XA equal to number of mole of A divided by the total number of mole for all component in the solution. And A is the number of mole of one component. And T is the total number of mole for all substance present in the mixture. <coughs> Percentage by mass. Percentage by mass is the ratio of mass of solute to the mass of solution multiplied by 100%. If we look at the formula, percentage by mass equal to mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100%. And the symbol for the percentage by mass is normally percent W over W. Percentage by volume. Percentage by volume is the ratio of volume of solute to the volume of solution multiplied by 100%. The symbol is normally percent V over V. And the formula is percentage by volume equal to volume of solute divided by volume of solution times 100%. The symbol is again 100% V over V. Density of solution. Density of solution equal to the mass of solution divided by volume of solution. Normally, the mass of solution in gram and the volume of solution in ml. 
So it is important to relate the density of solution to the concentration measurement.